Okay, what's popping everybody? Welcome to KO Vlogs. This is your boy Cohen and this is my friend Reinhardt and Today we're going to speak a bit about how literature has been used as a tool to change the lives of many South Africans on a social and a political platform. The ending of apartheid in South Africa meant that all South Africans would finally be treated equally on a political platform and racial discrimination would be alienated. We have identified that one of the most important roles that literature played in this magnificent change was that it created awareness. If we look at the creation, black consciousness outside of South Africa, we can look at the example of Donald Woods, a white South African journalist who wrote a biography on Steve Beaker, the second most well-known South African activist ever. Donald Woods put his life on the line to publish his book in England to create awareness about Biko's murder and racial discrimination. Shortly after publishing the book, Biko, in England, many European countries were aware of the wrongful oppression under the apartheid regime and started implementing sanctions against South Africa. This is one example of how a book helped the ending of apartheid causing a tremendous social and political change in every South African's life. Nineteen sixty to 1980 saw the rise of a new form of poetics called the Black Consciousness Movement, which mainly played a role in creating awareness within South Africa itself. Many people in South Africa, especially those living on the countryside and close to the coast, were actually unaware of the way that non-whites were treated by their government. Even though most black consciousness poets struggled to share their literature with the rest of the world, it had just as large an impact due to the fact that the citizens of the country who voted for their government were now aware of the misdemeanors that were taking place within South Africa and they could make the right decision on who to vote for. On a more indirect manner, a certain piece of literature saved a man's life, which was the start of so much more than just one man. When the year of our country was at its lowest, something as simple as a poem gave him the willpower to carry on. During his darkest years in prison, Nelson Mandela read the poem Invictus, and he was reminded that the words have the power, heal and inspire. When he was finally released from prison, in 1990, this realization became of utmost importance. Nelson Mandela used these words to inspire an entire nation. If it wasn't for that one poem that helped him through prison, things in South Africa might have stayed exactly the same. Governments should do everything in their power to create a favorable climate for literature as it carries people's opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Um, we hope you enjoyed it, and we hope that you have a bit of a deeper understanding of how literature actually helped the ending of apartheid and what an impact it made on um, South Africa. Okay, so guys, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss the next video. And comment down below if Reynard should jump in the pool. <laughs>